Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Space 3. I'm the Blues 32, and last we left off... Well, we, uh... Whoa! Don't interrupt my introduction. I lose my train of thought very easily. What was I saying? Okay, last we left off, we had, uh... Gone through the supply depot. And found out that the people around here were uh, eating each other in an attempt to become whole. I had to do that section again because I had once again exited the game without going to. Save and quit. If you do not go to save and quit, you don't get to keep the um the items you've gathered. Keeping the items you gathered is the whole point. So back in I went. It's not completely out of the way, but, you know. God, it's so much better when you don't have to worry about freezing to death. Why did it take that long to kill you? Inexcusable.
salvage point, but I'm all out of salvage bots. area. Isaac has been here 200 years on a frozen planet. I really can't, you really can't blame it. Sure, we're handy dandy. Look, Isaac, please hurry up and get here. We're in central command. I'll be there as fast as I can.
that'll do nicely. Now our shotgun blast will slow them down. Oh, really? I will name that one Steven. Bitch. like the thing. Any of the things. Especially not the ever-loving blue-eyed thing. Yeah. 
What did I just pick up? Uh, another spare parts box thing. Stop underestimating the power of a small arms fire. That worked a treat. A. Blatley. Night and day, it's always the same. They come shambling out of the storms trying to get in. It's not easy following orders. You see familiar faces all the time. Sometimes they see you and they lock eyes and there's a glimmer of, glimmer of recognition. Like they remember what it was to, what it was like to be on the other side of the wall. Safe and warm. And alive. suffered so far have cost us many lives but left us with valuable lessons. The shambling creatures the scientists teams are calling necromorphs appear to be made of the dead remains of other creatures, including our fallen soldiers. This is disturbing, disorienting, and shocking on first sight. Steal yourselves, as it may be psychological, a psychological ploy of the creatures to weaken us. Critically important, shoot for the limbs. They otherwise keep coming and, and will behead you before you can reload. Body and head shots essentially waste ammunition, so you must quickly re retrain your basic marksmanship. Never allow a breach of the outer wall. A single creature can take out an entire wing and begin a replication process within minutes. Can they? It's news to me. So do the normal ones have the ability to create the ones that can easily spawn other ones? And they never really clarified how those ones are made. I think the only thing they ever mentioned is that when they start transforming into one of those, there's a lot of uh, hacking up of fluids. Sergeant Cochran from... I don't know, A. Fresner. I don't know what they're hauling with our trucks, but they're way past the load limit. I'm up to my eyeballs and broken axles and burnt out motors. Tell your crews to ease up, will you? And how about sending some food our way? The pickings have been mighty slim lately.
checking. Go, my little drone. Find me some goodies. Worthwhile. Why did you About take time. your helmet off already? Isaac, you made it. Thank God. I knew you'd catch up. Good to see you made it, Isaac. You know, maybe we should give you two some time alone, huh? What the hell does that mean? It means for someone who's in the past, you're awfully glad to see him. We need him. This mission needs Come on, him. We need him or you need him. Hey, you got something to say to me, Captain? Stop. Just stop. We need to shut down that damn machine, and we don't even know where it is yet. I do. I, I mean, I Big think I can find it. Well, I've been digging through what's left of the research notes, and... I thought all that stuff was destroyed. Well, computer data, yes. But the written logs discuss a signal tracking experiment that pinpointed the machine's exact location. Well, I think if we repeat it, we can do the same. But it's at the other end of the complex. Yeah, fine. Fine, let's have a look. I could use a change of scenery. We don't need him. He's a real asshole. You know that? Now we know. You a drinking man, Serrano? Uh, no, sir. I prefer cognac myself. Probably a bit cliche, but you just can't beat it with a nice cigar. What did you want to see me about? I'm not gonna lie, Professor. I don't like you. The way you look, the way you talk, or the way you conduct business. Look, the Admiral said I... Admiral Graves isn't running this show anymore. I am. If you need men to help you thaw those ice cubes you're experimenting on, you come to me, and only me. Of course, I just thought it'd be... I don't care how much support you have back home. You're playing a dangerous game, Professor. And out here, you play by my rules. Sure, that didn't end poorly at all. I'm sure, I'm sure their relationship just had a rocky start. Torch, you say? If I was the type to be interested in a flamethrower, that would be interesting to me. But I'm not. Flamethrowers are for squares. How did I how did I latch onto the chair? I 
guess not. Oh, hey, little guy. I to crawl in. Let's start small. Hmm. All right, different uh, test look. Can I, can I, uh, ah, there we go. Carbine, standard flamethrower. Four skins. Not really interested right now. So, how do you create a pulse rifle? Uh, no. I wanted to know what parts go into it. We'll end this video here. We come back, uh, things will happen. I don't know yet. Well, I, I really don't remember is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I am the Blue 32. This is Dead Space 3. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.